Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. I'm a little confused here. Are you looking at this picture here? After the, quote, drowning at the Obama's premises, and they were in town for 12 hours, I guess. What are, the, what are those bandages on his fingers? Hmm. He's got a bunch of bandages on. I don't ever remember seeing Barack Obama with that many damn bandages on his fingers. What is that all about? Because he was doing something dirty or something to himself. I don't know what's going on, but I don't ever remember seeing all of those bandages on his hand. As soon as it happened, the girls leave town. Uh, Michelle goes to play tennis, allegedly, and Barack's playing golf. But supposedly they were away from the house. Now, I'm not so sure about that. And the two daughters, who look nothing like them, technically speaking, Oh, those girls look the less they look like them, but they still look like the other two couples. But what are those bandages for? Somebody asked that question, did he injure himself? Uh, was he being tied up? He was having some kind of event or something? Because I don't ever remember seeing Barack Obama with bandages on his hands. And there's a bunch of bandages, too. I mean, one or two cuts or something like that, one bandage, but... Three or four bandages is absurd. You may need to go see a doctor. If you got three or four bandages on one hand, you may need to go to the doctor for some reason. But this story is getting to be more and more suspicious, and they're trying to gaslight us and tell us nothing is going on here. Sure is not. You've lied about what the phone call was initially from. You won't tell us who was actually with him. Maybe Barack was with him. This is, sounds very, very suspicious. And why did they come to this... Barack Obama's premises to try to pretend like he was calling when another 911 call had came in about a medical emergency. Did somebody just dump him in the ocean? Because I'm not buying this. He drowned. That does not fit with me. He drowned. You mean to tell me this guy can't swim? Of course he can swim because we got videos of him swimming. So swimming is not an issue. It ain't like he was a fat guy. Like he was very, very uh, athletic. He was... Uh, in shape, so I mean, I don't know. He had, did he have a heart attack? Maybe he have. You're giving me a heart attack. Maybe he had a heart attack or something. But what are you telling us is not panning out to me. There's something suspicious about this, and we're going to get to the bottom of this. And I know the fact checkers are going to tell you that you're making up a conspiracy. Nothing you have told us about this particular story has panned out to be true. Just like you lied about the lockdown. Just like you lied about Russian collusion. Just like you lied about the so-called experts with the mass. You've been lying to us. Just like you said there was no labs in Ukraine. It was 26 last count. Just like you said Joe Biden didn't know anything and it wasn't Hunter Biden's laptop. That too was a lie. You have a history of lying. Now, I'm sorry if I don't believe, quote, the fact checkers and all of those so-called experts who we've caught lying. I, I've lost count how many times we caught you lying. I mean, you remember with Christopher Ray, he was under oath. He says he didn't know about the 10 with the 1023 form. He said he never even heard. He don't know what you're talking about. Find out he was lying too. All of these lies that they have told to us, the so-called experts, uh, it did not, this uh, COVID did not develop inside a lab. It was a bat, wet, wet market in Wuhan. Just so happened, I guess a bat ate something and it jumped off. I don't know what happened. But it's awfully suspicious, but I must say so myself. And what are those bandages on Barack's fingers? Please tell me.